Welcome to our Hello, good morning. devotional and spiritual breakfast with Reverend Mike Eniola. Welcome to Saturday, the 10th day of September 2022. Open your heart this morning, beloved, wherever you are this morning, hearing the sound of my voice and be saying amen as I pray and bless you today. I pray that the journey of your life will not suddenly stop. The glory of God upon your family will not disappear. The peace of God in your life will not be stopped. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Three powerful prayers. The journey of your life will not stop you know, unannounced. The journey of your life will not be put on hold. The journey of your life will not be terminated in the noon time. In the name of Jesus, I pray that the hand of the Lord will continually rest upon you. The mercy and the peace of God will take all the glory in your life, in your family and ministry. In the name of Jesus, somebody is crying this morning. I don't know why you are crying, but I see a mighty hand of God wiping away those tears. And I hear in the spirit, say, son, tell them not to cry again. Beloved, the Lord knows why you are crying. The Lord knows why you are shedding tears. But he has asked me to tell you that weep no more because God is wiping away your tears. In the mighty name of Jesus, I am decreeing into somebody's life this Saturday morning that the peace of God that cannot be purchased with money nor with any currency anywhere in the world, the peace that passes all understanding shall be your portion today and you will be glad you are alive this moment in Jesus' name. Everyone that will be traveling today, I pray and I decree joining mercies. Those who have occasion to attend today, I pray that everything will end well and it will end in praise. All travelers, I decree joining mercies. Pregnant women, you will carry your pregnancy to fullest and you will deliver in peace in Jesus' name. I am praying for everyone this morning that as you go out in peace, you will return in peace. The mercy and the glory of God shall be your portion in Jesus' name. You are blessed and you are lifted. Somebody shout Amen. Say, I believe as I receive. Hallelujah. Praise God. Beloved, this Saturday morning, let me take a few testimonies. As our custom is to share testimonies on Saturday, I want you to rejoice with the testifiers. I want you to keep to it. I want you to have strong faith and believe. That God will do yours too. The first one says, Good evening, Reverend Eniola. Hope this meets you well. Testimony. I phoned you in April 2021 after my PhD viva because the viva didn't go well. After explaining the situation to you, then you pray just a simple prayer that you prayed a, a simple prayer that the second time I'll be meeting with the examiners, all will be well. When I was having my second viva, all went well, and I was able to graduate with my doctorate degree last month. Hallelujah. Thank you very much for your prayers. Reverend Nola, I appreciate God, and I say God will continue to keep and bless you. Amen. Many thanks all the way from United Kingdom. Another testimony this morning. This was a good, good evening, Pastor. I am so, so person. This is my testimony. I connected with your message this morning, and I was as I was listening to the to the red testimony, I too asked God of Pastor Mike and Ella, when is my own miracle alive? And I claimed and received it now, as I believe. This morning, we wanted to buy one liter of kerosene, which was 1,000 naira. My husband has no money, likewise myself. It almost led to a fight within us. <laughs> I just checked my boss and he gave me 400 naira and I was able to buy the kerosene. When I opened the audio of today, I prayed for my miracle alert. Now, not too long, not long, not too long, I had a message from my phone. When I opened the audio, well, when I opened it, ha, it was a lot of 20,000 from one of my children which I wasn't expecting until the end of the month. I look at the cylinder straight. I, I took the cylinder straight to fill the gas of 9,500 Naira. Thank God for your call. 
is very timely indeed. God will continue to strengthen you with more anointing in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank God for that timely intervention. The miracle came handy. Another testimony. Mommy, good evening, ma. This is addressed to my wife. My name is also person from Lagos. Here is my testimony, ma. Daddy prayed for us this morning. That those of us saying, when will my own testimony come? And when will it be? Yes, I am the number. I am that person. I am among the people saying, when will I testify? Finally, today, I keep to that prayer. And I prayed it very well. And I got a job after so many years of joblessness. God replaced shame for laughter and honor. Thank you, God. Remaining my marriage to come, and I know all it is done. Yes, your marriage too is done. God bless you. Another testimony. Good evening, man of God. Reverend, I've been listening to your preaching every day, whenever I'm available on network. Today's message is so powerful, and I really enjoy the message, the power of unity. May God restore the unity, our home, and our marriage, and the, the, the Lord restore, may the Lord restore the unity that our home and our marriage needs. God bless you, sir. Amen. Another testimony. Good evening, Reverend Ella. I am so so person from America. I'm here to testify to the glory of God concerning my interview with immigration judge in the month of July. I sent a message to you about it in May on 7th of May, and you replied back that God will go ahead and take over, and I will be favored in Jesus' name. I was highly favored on that day. I pray that I want the judge to give me another date. And to the glory of God, the date that I wanted, that was the date that the judge gave me. Thank you so much, Reverend Ella. God bless you. You and your family will be highly favored. In Jesus' name, amen. I receive it. Another testimony. Good morning, man of God. I sent a message on the 11th of August, 2022 of my two elder brothers who were kidnapped in my village in Anambra State. I sent a message to you and you replied immediately that God will free them. I believe because your prayers and prophecies always come to pass. Sir, so I'm here to announce to you that my brothers have been realized, I mean, have been released after a week. Though they pay some money, but they came out on earth. May the name of the Lord be praised. So I thank you for saying yes to the Lord. I'm so so person from Enugu State. Hallelujah. Testimony again. Testimony, testimony. I was stranded from one part of the country to another where I work because no salary allowed. And I kid to miracle has spoken by the prophet today. And I went to sleep, hoping on the God of Reverend Mike Kenyola. And I slept off. Just after one hour, a lot woke me up when all hopes were lost. I return all glory to your God, and I expect other miracles as you prophesy today, 29th of August. So, so person from Abuja. Amen. More, alas, we come. More testimony. Good morning, Reverend Mike. Good morning, Reverend. Thank God Almighty for your prayers for me on the 27th of August, 2022. Coming, you know, I mean, coming, there was, I mean, there's this satanic boy on my left eyelid, very painful. After I had a dream that my left upper eye, my eyesight got rotten when I am embarked on a seven days fast. I saw myself in my father's compound and somebody asked me about my about eye that I was complaining has become so blind and tried to blow head on it. Next morning, I noticed the painful soil on the only eye I'm using to see as my right eye cannot see because of glaucoma, which I'm yet to attend to because of finance. After your prayer, the boil that made the left eye swollen just vanished. I gave glory to God. Thank you, sir. Amen. That boil will never come back again. Another testimony. Testimony alas. Good morning, Daddy in the Lord, and happy new month of September. I first received your daily devotional in year 2020 with much interest, but from the day God opened my eyes, I began to earnestly cry for it daily. Now, I have created WhatsApp group and sent to many people daily. 
to the glory of God after your prayers on abandoned project in 2021. God has given me a house, even though it's still not yet, still not completed, but it is now habitable for us to move in, move in a part of the building. My life has changed through the words and prayers you offer on our behalf every day. My children are more attentive to words. My children are more attentive to words of wisdom. I pray that the oil on your head will never run dry. I am so so person from Lagos. Let me take the last one for today. Testimony. I asked God yesterday and today for birthday present because today I'm 50 years old. Oh, God bless you. Happy, happy birthday in areas. Happy golden celebration. Hallelujah. After hour of destiny teaching, I prayed and then saw that I'm promoted. It was posted in the middle. I always key into the numerous promotion testimony shared on this platform and I've been expecting to share my own testimony. He has done it for me. I've missed this promotion twice, but this time God visited me. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Daddy. I'm so so person from Abia State. Father, thank you for this soul lifting testimonies. Thank you for the testifiers. Thank you for everyone that I've listened. I pray that more will come. More. Many of us, all of us, shall enjoy open heaven. There shall be no carryover of yesterday's blessing or today's blessing to tomorrow. Every miracle you need today, receive them. And above all, may the peace of God be our portion. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Have a wonderful Saturday and a peaceful uh, weekend in Jesus' name. Amen.